Hello there everyone, UXW Bill here once again. Some of you are undoubtedly aware that my mother has some experience in the creation of clay-based pottery. Some of you have even seen a video where she was using this potter's wheel made by the American Art Clay Company, or Amico for short. This was something that was cast off by the local school district. They cast off an awful lot of perfectly good stuff and they set this thing outdoors just to let it rot. I pointed out its existence to her and one night we went and liberated it. Well, despite the fact that the bearings and the, potter, the potter's wheel surface themselves are perfectly good, the wood frame was completely coming apart. You can see pieces of it here and you can see how spending basically the last 10 years exposed to the weather has not done it any favors. It was already in somewhat sad shape and time and weather seeks revenge on us all, unfortunately, and it certainly wreaked its terrible revenge on this thing. Now many of you are aware of Bizarre Furhead and the fact that he's oftentimes seen as a comic relief figure here on my channel and the Key Keepers channel as well, but there's a very, very different side to Bizarre Furhead that you don't often get to see. It seems like every time I see him he's managed to collect more sawdust while he's been working on this project, but that's pretty much unavoidable considering the territory. Yes, folks, despite Furhead's odd sense of humor and things like that, he's got a very good heart and he's a very clever guy. And today, what? <laughs> he's rebuilding the framework for my mother's potter's wheel. It's and a little dusty over here. <laughs> it is. You just, know, you a, shouldn't... just a little bit. My mouth's dry for some reason. <laughs> Looks like you've got some in your beard, too. Really? <laughs> I can't hear too well. I'd say those ear protectors. You get those at stereo dust particles because it seems like maybe they haven't worked for you. Why? <laughs> so tell us a little bit about what you're doing here. Getting dusty. <laughs> yeah, what else are you doing? Um, getting really dusty. Dang. <laughs> Dang, boy. <laughs> so what have you got there? That looks like the seat piece for it. Looks like you've been... Uh, sanding out an indentation for a person to sit. Uh, it's, it's the saddle area. Okay. Where you're, you're supposed to sit there. But you don't have to. No, you don't have to. Okay, that's a good deal. So how far along do you think you are right now, would you say? Well, come over here and look at it. Hang on. Got it. <laughs> wow, it looks like somebody opened a whole library's worth of dusty old books. Let's go ahead and <laughs> see what he's up to over here. <laughs> and you think that's pretty funny, don't you? Oh, yeah, I do. <laughs> All right. Anytime you're doing a woodworking project and you can involve a chainsaw, well, that must mean you're doing something right. <laughs> All right, I see what you're doing here. This is going to look pretty sweet when you're done with it. So how long have you spent doing this so far today? Pretty much the whole day. Pretty much the whole day. When did you start? I mean, I got I got up. It's actually kind of comfortable. <laughs> Still need some work though. So you got up and like you started around, working on it. Oh, I woke up probably around six or seven, but I just wanted to lay in bed and not do shit. But now. Now you have gotten busy. I see you've got some of this put together. You've got the screws in it. You've got the sides put together. I'm curious to know, what is underneath that big counterweight? Anything interesting? No. Just, um, just the bushing. Okay, so there's nothing holding it down to the wood or anything? It's not like secured to it? No. Wow. So the only, the only thing holding it right here is that bracket right there. That's pretty amazing. Well, there's a spot underneath the wheel for two screws to go in but I couldn't figure out how to get that piece off because there's two bushing well there's like there's a bushing where it can spin because it can spin right now I it's see stable it looks like you're making a new uh, a new surround for the uh, throwing surface as well Would you get this no pet store had anything like this the hardware store didn't have anything like this. 
The farm supply store in town didn't have anything like that. What'd you do? Did you have to get it online? No, Mom went uh, a couple towns over. Oh, okay. And they had it. Well, good deal. For a dollar. You can't beat that. Well, actually, it was like three dollars, but still. Close enough. All right, well, thanks for telling us all about it. I'm going to go ahead and shut this off. Thank you for watching, and feel free to leave a comment if you have one. And yes, at some point, there will be an update featuring the finished product. But you got to give Furhead credit where credit's due. He's been doing an awful nice job on putting this poor thing back together again.